Hello guys, this is Purvik from Android Developer and this is the first tutorial of the Android in which we are going to see that how you pass the data between two activity with the use of the intent. So first create one Android project, give it a name as an intent demo, specific package name, then choose the specific minimum required SDK and target SDK and the configuration of your applications that you can also design the configuration launcher icon as you can wish next you have to choose the activity of your application I will choose the blank activity and give the appropriate activity name let's say first activity click finish So it will create you the Android application project with the one activity name first activity as you can see here with the default layout of the hello world yes this is it now just remove the hello world from the layout now design the layout from the prom widget choose the text field plain text and just put it on the screen uh, we will take the username and the password from the user and we will provide a one button click on which the username and passwords will be validated and the username will be passed to the second activity and displayed on the second activity so to edit text box will be there give the appropriate ID let's say edit username next edit underscore password let's say choose one button just put it on that one give the appropriate text let's say check now whenever the user will click the button the text from the username and passwords will be flow to the second activity give the appropriate hint like the enter username and enter password now just give the appropriate on click event on the button click so for that go to the XML file for the button double click on the button take on click and just give the method name I say call check so it will assign the one method call check method to that particular button now just declare it over here that method public white call check parameters a view because the button is a view element so we will give that one whenever the user will create that button it will execute the codes resides in this method just import the appropriate classes so next we will declare the two elements edit text objects you name and password and just take reference of that one whenever the activity is first created let's say find view by id r.id.edit username same the password objects will be taken r.id.edit underscore password the user id uh, then ids to the elements that has been given
now say in the call check method whenever the user will click that button the username and passwords will be validated over here so let's say if else loop take username uname underscore get text method dot to stream dot equals ignore case we will provide the static string over here let's say l row and as well as the passwords has to be also validated with the username so double Anderson and password dot get text dot to stream dot equals ignore case the static text will be there Arrow. the same as the username now whatever appropriate programming you want to do you can provide it over here or whenever the username and password does not match then you can code over here else part toast dot makes text I will simply just toast a message that is either username or password is incorrect and let's say the duration of the message is toast dot length sort dot show <coughs> So this is the method that will validate the username and password. Now go to the source, create the new activity that will display the username whenever the username and password will match. Name that activity second activity, give the superclass as an activity. Oh, choose appropriate superclass activity. Let's say finish click on create method it will create automatically then set the content view let's say r dot oh for that second activity you have to create the layout file so create one layout android xml file name that file particular activity underscore second give the appropriate layout let's say relative layout call finish so it will create one layout give that particular layout assign it to the second activity dot java file before that just take one form widget medium text view just put on the second activity assign the id tv underscore username just clear the text from the text view now assign it to the second activity dot java let's say r dot layout dot okay it is not there so just control b it will build the projects and give you the resources activity underscore second so that is there create the text view class over here text view tv okay let's say tv username so give the reference to that tv and so username is going to find view by id r dot id dot it is there tv underscore username the id has been given to that type as that to the text view let's say now call the second activity but we have to pass the username so we will create the intent intent i equal to new intent this dot and second activity dot class so this will gives the intent with the second activity dot class let's say i dot put extra
string we will choose the put extra method of string and string parameters that will give you the name username and value equal to the username that user has given you name dot get text dot to string so whenever the username and passwords will be validated with the appropriate string the new intent will be created with the second activity dot class and the username the user has provided will pass with the intent now just create call that activity start activity i now go to second activity just create the created tv username has to show that so here take one variable intent all intent let's say all intent equal to get intent tv uname dot set text equal to old intent dot get string extra here it is get string extra the name that we have given the user name the name that has been given in the first activity dot java while passing that particular intent now it will set that username to this text view whenever the second activity will call after the validating the username and password so whenever the user will create the click button the username and passwords will be passed over here the call check method will validate that one and the username is passed on to the second activity and it will display it on the second activity if the username and password are matched with that one you have to assign the activity second activity to the android manifest file so just go to android manifest file application tape add one activity let's say browse to the created activities of the application will just display the resources select the second activity okay and just build that one now execute the application and load application the console will show you the tasks that are going on it has started the activity Let's say username equal to alro and password equal to alro. Now let's say check. So this is it. It has passed the username to the second activity and displayed it over here. Now go back to that. Enter the random password. It will check. It will non validate it and display the message that we have provided in the else part of the loop. This is how you can use the intent dot put extra method to put the values of the variable within the intent and pass on to the second activity where you can get that method get that variable value with the get extra string method and display it on that particular activity so this is it so keep liking and subscribing to our channel and please provide the appropriate comments so we can improvise our videos over here thanks